Hello everyone, it's Jeannie and today is day 30 of our 30 day money game. And I hope you have been enjoying this as much as I have been. It's been an amazing ride for this entire month to show up every day and to think about what we are doing. As a reminder, today we are putting $30,000 into our virtual checking account. And that means that we have flowed within 30 days, $465,000, $465,000. So it is just an amazing um, trip together. I am taking $5,000 uh, so that my husband and I can go see our grandson who's bought a new house up in Indiana. We're going to take some time and go out to the lake. And then I'm going to take another 5000 to my grandson who is going to be a senior in high school this year for sports equipment and, you know, anything that he needs, clothes and stuff like that. And then I'm taking $20,000 and putting it toward new uh, high quality windows for the house that we want to build. I have got so many good uh, testimonials from people, and I want to share some with you. Um, this is from yesterday from a man who is, when we talked yesterday and I talked about being grateful even for our bills, and he said this, I needed this reminder. It is so easy to get bogged down in the lack of finances while staying positive about every other area of life, it seems. Time to get back to the practice of financial gratitude, even being thankful for bills to pay. And that's true. And, you know, we often think that we can rise high and we're happy for, you know, and he's going through some health challenges and he remains very optimistic. But, you know, it's the money thing, too, can stop us in our tracks. I'm just happy to get that. Another woman said, this is so great. She said, thank you for today's lesson. I'm going to follow it for every bill I have. Also, I wanted to report to you that my, quote, money mindset, end quote, really has changed because of this game. I want to build a house and to raise excitement, I searched online for hand-carved entry doors. I found a stunning one, carved a mahogany and given a soft burgundy natural finish. It was priced at $2,000 and my first thought was, oh, that, that can't be right. This is much too beautiful to be only $2,000. Do you see that? You know, before it's like $2,000 for, I'm, I'm not saying she would say that, but many of us would. And it's like, golly, I can get what I want for just $2,000. How cool. I have another woman who said, for two days, I had put my money towards an investment lot at the beach with a pad for our travel trailer with a lower deck and an upper deck, restroom facilities, and so on. We were relaxing at the beach, and they actually were at the beach. And she said, I love to go back to the park and get something from our trailer. On the way, on the way back, I took a random beach access street. And there it was, the exact property that I had described for sale by owner. And she said, I will send you the photograph. Manifestation. Later that evening, I had an epiphany coming through. Uh, me regarding our home that we are preparing to build soon. They have a, another lot that they're building another house. And she said, I realized that we had left out a very important aspect about our financial future plans that would be a safety net that we should have in case one of us becomes ill and unable to handle the business. And so this would take care of that what if scenario, something we'd completely not thought of to protect ourselves. It's so interesting how the money game has stirred up my unconscious mind, creating awareness around money. And she continued, she said, this afternoon, a friend who is a bank president for four bank branches asked me, I am so curious, where are you getting all this money? Because I had told her and three other friends last week that I had $23,000 that day to spend on something that I wanted and decided to charter a jet 
and to take all of us on a winter vacation to Colorado next year. And I guess she had really been thinking that over and couldn't wait to ask me about it. So I explained the money game that I was playing and that this was my universal bank account. And she told me, now this is the bank president. She said, she was really excited about my plans for us. And I told her that is exactly the response that I want. Enthusiasm. So I got a text just before I made this, uh, started to make this video today from someone. Good morning, she says. So the money game is over and I just summarized all my spending and what it underscored to me. Thank you for reminding me of the exceeding wealth and blessings that I have. I have so enjoyed hearing your positivity each day, especially during this pandemic. And you all will know, I haven't talked about the pandemic because it's immaterial. It really is. There's always going to be something that we can point to and say, oh, if it were only for that. No, 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 no. We get to choose. So she goes on sending you blessings today. She also listed all of the expenditures that she's been using, including buying a new trained therapy dog for $7,500. And guess what? That dog will arrive at her house this coming week. For real. She paid off a book loan that she had uh, borrowed from their family account. She set up scholarships with uh, private schools. She's given money to people who need it and for people who work with them and for them. She has bought a, um, a cottage or a cabin in the mountains of Colorado for $200,000. And she said, it reminds me of how little material things I need or want, but here was the underlying message. She now gets it that she is much more powerful than she knew and that she can and will and continues to flow this gratitude, love, blessings, and money. Because think of all the people she can help. Think of all the things that she can do and all of us. So my challenge to you today is to go back through your journal and get into the, into the feeling and read all the things that you've done now, up, up till now with $465,000. You know, I, I, I've been looking, you know, I've got travel in here. I've helped a neighbor buy some cows uh, when their ranch burned. I'm putting money into um, the Be Now, the beautiful network of women. I chartered the Learjet to go to the U.S. Virgin Islands for a week. I bought a hot tub and a slide for our pool, drilling a well. Um, I'm supporting some independent uh, content creators who are really digging into what's going on in this world. Uh, rented a beach house, bought first class tickets to Taiwan. So what have you been spending your money on? And get back into it. Really think about that and say, how does that make me feel? And can I up my game? The other thing that has happened quite suddenly to me is that I have just this past week picked up two new coaching clients. And you may say, well, okay. But here's the thing. I do not advertise. I just never have. And I don't fault anyone who does, but I have a deal with God in the universe. Send me the right people. Send me the people who need me and that I need them. So two clients just popped up. So this is extra income that uh, unexpected money all the time, unexpected income all the time. And so just so you know, I do personal coaching. I don't advertise. If you are interested in getting my help, on a personal level and uh, on an ongoing basis, you know, for however long you want, just let me know and we'll talk about it and see if we can work together. But I am so grateful. I'm grateful for you showing up every day. I'm grateful for you sharing your thoughts. I'm grateful for you shifting and changing because think of all the people in your life through your changing your thoughts about money through you allowing yourself to expand, to 
focus on gratitude, to give up your old hateful stories about, gee, I just don't have enough and everyone else gets it and I don't. You know, when you change your story, you change your life. And when we change our lives, we change this world. Thank you again for joining me. And um, let me know if there's anything I can do for you to support you. I love you all. I bless you. Please sing the money game. I get unexpected income all the time. I'm so grateful for my income all the time. I get unexpected income. I get unexpected income. I'm so grateful for my income all the time. And I am. And I'm grateful for you. Thanks.